Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob Mason and today I'll be going over the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio and why I think that this may be the best laptop of 2022 so far or 2021, 2021 slash 2022. So there are a few things about this. This is a all metal and steel body, an aluminum body, which is great. Uh, it's not cheap. It won't bend. It it's it's just very light, and I like how uh, how supportive it is. Now there are four modes for the Surface Laptop Studio. People say there are three, but I believe there are four. First, you have your normal laptop mode. You have your normal laptop mode. Then it gets a little crazy. You have a easel mode. They call this uh, studio mode. You have your keyboard underneath. You have your keep. You have your trackpad and the screen. So if you want to use this for drawing, um, you know, creating anything, then this is what you would be using. Then you have your standard tablet mode. And that's the, those are the three that everyone is saying that there is. But I believe there are four. In my opinion, I think there are four modes. You have your laptop version. But if you want to show anyone anything, presentation and display mode, in my opinion. So there's the fourth. It goes all the way to the back. Now, there are a few problems with the Surface Laptop Studio, and that is the ports. There are only two Thunderbolt ports for charging and your dongles. And honestly, I don't like using dongles. Dongles are very annoying because it's just extra cables for you, extra cables in the way. What I would like and what I would prefer Microsoft to do in the future is two Thunderbolt two USB ports, an HDMI, or at least two HDMI ports, and an uh, SD card reader slot, and a micro SD card reader slot. That would help everybody a lot. That way we don't have to use dongles, two dongles, and have so much cable management. Then the other, now the other problem is just not enough ports, and then you have your charger, and your uh, headphone jack, which is great. And then you got your fans underneath. The fans make this look really big. Because this is very thin, very thin, very thin. Then you got your fans underneath. Now, granted, the fans, I don't feel the fans or hear the fans when I'm scrolling online or doing any business work, school work, anything like that. But when it comes to gaming, you will hear and feel the fans on your arm and your hands, and it will be it will get very annoying. And overall, this laptop is very good. Now, would I recommend it for someone who's in the market for a new laptop? Maybe not. I think you would just go for a standard laptop with no touchscreen. But if you want a touchscreen, a tablet that does three things or two things, like a two-in-one, this could be your best bet, because if you don't want to take off your screen like the regular surfaces, then this is the laptop for you. Now, the Microsoft, now these computers can get a little pricey, and I will put the prices on the screen over here. So if you want to pause and look at those prices, that, that, that would probably be great. But it comes with a Core i7 Gen, Gen uh, Intel Core i7 processor uh, with G with a um, GeForce NVIDIA GeForce uh, 3080 Ti graphics card, and it goes from 16 to 64 gigs of storage with two terabytes of SSD storage, and that's just and I believe that that's very good, but I think that they should be using AMD instead of Intel. AMD, I believe, is more powerful than Intel, but if Microsoft does want to be continue using Intel and use, you know, worse processors, then that's fine. But that's just my thoughts on the Surface Laptop Studio. The other thing is, 
the body. It's very, it's not, no, no bend, no flex, whatever, which is great. And it's very light and it fits in my backpack, which is very good. And you can't, I can't even tell that it's in my backpack. And that's about it. So if you did like this video, then please put down in the comments below what you enjoyed about this and what you want me to review next. And as, al as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.